This year marks two decades since the anti-crime group Mad Dads formed its Jacksonville chapter. Every day the volunteer group works with victims' families and spreads, it, spreads its messages of getting people to the community to speak up and talk about crime to police. News Redacts reporter Ashley Harding spoke to the chapter's founder and shares his reasoning for pressing on. If you were to ask Mad Dad's founder, Donald Foy, what exactly motivated him to launch the local chapter, he'd say it comes down to one horrific case in Jacksonville from 2002. All these years later, though, Foy says as long as he's able to keep going, he will for these families and the community. You may have seen Mad Dad's on TV news reports or maybe in your own neighborhood. But as Donald Foy tells me, this almost didn't happen in Jacksonville. The national president, Eddie Staden, um, came to Jacksonville and he asked me to be the president. Uh, we were having a lot of violence and murder here and he asked me to become president. Actually, I said no because I was already busy in the community and busy in my church. But that all changed the day this happened. Johnny Gatlin and her two nephews, 12-year-old Chris and 13-year-old Dion Kirkland, were gunned down in a case of mistaken identity. The brother's father spoke to News for Jax 10 years after that tragedy. Cry myself to sleep, you know, it's, it's something that ain't gonna go away. That kind of is what kicked Mad Dads off, you know. I said, who's doing something about it? And they said, nobody. And uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, why don't you do something about it? And I did. Since then, Mad Dads has continued to grow. Events and neighborhood walks are strictly voluntary. The group's message has never changed. Break the street code of silence and call Crime Stoppers. Another case that touched Foy personally was that of eight-year-old Dreshana Davis. She was killed, shielding her cousins from gunfire. While her case and many others have since been solved, there's still more work to be done. After everything, what is your why to keep doing this 20 years later? One answer, it's a calling for me. God called me to do this. For his two decades of service, Foy has been honored with several awards. He says as long as he has breath in his body, he will continue serving and leading Mad Dads. If I leave here today, Mad Dads is still here and a leader is still here. I prepare that leader. 20 years of service to the city with no plans to slow down anytime soon. And we did receive a statement from Sheriff T.K. Waters about Mad Dads. It reads, Mad Dads has made a remarkable impact in Jacksonville over the years, and I've had the opportunity on many occasions to work with Mr. Foy as he and his group work for victims and their loved ones. I, along with the members of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, appreciate and thank them for what they have done and continue to do for our community. And the message remains, if you can help solve a murder, Crime Stoppers gives you the option of not sharing your name. The number is 1-866-845-TIPS. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.